Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Uh, right, it's as we say here. It's pissing down. It's the heavens have just opened, and I'm not long home from work. I just ran out into the shed, got a bit wet, and it's absolutely freezing out here. I thought the summer was here to stay, so I've taken the heaters out and everything, and I'm. Uh, it's actually cold. Uh, right, this will be a really quick one. Um, I have got a pile of gear to review. I have tomorrow, I've got a day to myself tomorrow to do some reviews. Uh, what uh, I have, I will put a review up. I'll put a review, I've recorded it already, but uh, this is uh, the slug steel mods and uh, on top is a Zenith V1 with a drip tip that was made for me. Julian. Um, now the, I've recorded the review and I've done it all but uh, basically this was uh, lent to me by an awfully nice chap. Uh, you know who you are. Um, and I fell in love with it so much that um, I've sorted out a trade with with them. Uh, now don't go waiting for the review thinking, ah, oh, of course he loves it. It's wooden brass. It does have some niggles. Uh, it does have some niggles, but it's just a a beautiful bit of gear. It's got this firing button here. It's just awesome. Now. Inside that is a vaping donut. Now, just sort the screen out here. Vaping donut. Once again, it was Matt, uh, the guy that sent me out. He sent me on two vaping donuts, and uh, I've got one in here. It's a point. It came out at point eight when I measured it. Um, I'm not going to do a review or anything like that in the vaping donuts. Uh, My thoughts on the vaping donuts after using it for a couple of days, that's all I've been using. The idea behind the vaping donuts is excellent. What a doddle to set up. Bung it in, tighten, chuck cotton in, and vape away. Uh, I've read so much about them, they take ages to fire up. Uh, I really haven't encountered that at all. They just, I get an instant vape off of this. Uh, I have no complaints about the ramp up time, uh, which I was quite surprised by. I, I was pretty much expecting to be slagging them off in that respect. Uh, but no, no problem there. Uh, my problem with them is the lack of flavour. I just, 0.8 ohm coil, what, or, you know, vaping donut, it just does not give me the same flavour that I am used to with a micro coil and cotton. It's just not there for me. It really isn't there. I mean, I'm getting loads of vapour. I'm happy with the amount of vapour I'm getting for the resistance. Uh, I have no issues there at all. Building it, putting it in, no issues at all. The taste just... I mean, I've, I've been thinking about it and, and it's been bugging me because I think to myself, you know, come on, how can it taste different? At the end of the day, it's just a heating element. But for whatever reason, I don't know what. It just doesn't give that intensity of flavour that I'm used to or I would expect at this resistance. Um, Matt, I was talking to Matt about this and he did say you would, you might notice it better if you had you know, two in, but then that would give me a 0.4 ohm coil and I can't, I have no interest in running it at that resistance uh, personally. Some people love them, some people 
hate them. I've actually been reading. Did I do you see this? Did I see this? I was on a uh, high end mods forum, Hen, uh, where all the, the nutters hang out. Uh, <laughs> there. Um, and there's been a couple of instances of them actually, you know, going pop, you know, in the ceramic breaking, uh, which is not good. Um, now, that's, that's all I've read in one forum. There's probably thousands of them sold and no issues, but there are some couple of stories of people having issues where they've gone pop. Uh, for me, I'll, I'll not be using them again, at, just from a flavour point of view. So, there's my uh, three-minute shit review of the vaping donuts. Uh, what else have we got on the go? Uh... I put up a little sneak peek. This is, you know, the company, uh, the Iron Mod. Uh, they did the, the, the Copper Mod. Um, well, they have this. This is the Stainless Steel X, or Cross, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll be doing a review on this. I'm just waiting. They're actually sending another tube out, which would be better to show you guys. Basically, it's just... It's a copper tube, but it's got like a coating on it. And this X here, you see the, the copper coming through, it looks stunning. So I'll be waiting for that. Um, I have got the... Uh, I've got an EVOD twist here. Uh, and I have a Kangar EVOD V2, uh, two, and a Mini Pro Tank V3. Both 1.5 ohm coils, so I'm testing them both at the same time, and I'll have a we'll have a blather, and I'll discuss which one I think is the best. Arrived today, right? The Diablo Hybrid V2 arrived. Uh, the Diablo One has arrived. Um, the Enikin DRV, the one that goes into your cigarette lighter in the car, it's a variable voltage device. It's quite smart. I, I'm quite impressed with it. Uh, that's here. The Inican iTaste CLK. That's here. Uh, what else? Oh, the whole uh, hybrid mod arrived today as well. That looks pretty damn funky. Uh, got that. You know about that. The Vapor V3 by Peter K. It arrived. I've been having fun with that. It's an old friend. And there's other stuff there waiting to arrive. It's all in the upcoming reviews. If you go along to my website, you'll you'll see it there. All the upcoming reviews. Uh, what else? I've just put the video on and I look like a drowned rat. Uh, Oh, right, uh, as has probably everybody in their dog knows. Uh, oh, speaking of dogs, Stephen, Cat, if you watch this, once again, thank you. Uh, there's a last called Cat. Uh, she did me, I put it on my Facebook page, you can see it there. She did an awesome portrait of TJ who is in the house just now because it's pouring the rain. Uh, so thank you to you guys again. Uh, how did I get onto that? Can't remember how I got onto that. Anyway, working in a vape shop and I'd put a toolkit together just to carry about with me, cancel wire and all that shite. Uh, the only thing I didn't have was a lighter. And I, and I ordered this, I think I got it off eBay, it was about £6. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, yeah, it's a refillable, uh, but yeah, get a little cap off like so. And I can actually lock it. So you've got a jet flame. You know, if you're torching stuff and whatnot, it's just perfect. It's a great wee thing. Uh, flick that off. So. Sorry, the tire fell off. 
it, it, you can just hold it like that. But anyway, um, like I said, I got it off eBay or something. It was about six pound. Really funky wee thing. Um, oh man, it's too cold in here. I can't, I can't stay out here. It's too cold. Uh, what else? Uh, go and watch all the videos that uh, the other reviewers in America are putting up just now. Suck my mod, the, the vaping Greek, and Grim Green. They've all got videos up about FDA, uh, who are basically taking America to task. Uh, you know, go and watch their videos. Uh, anyway, I need a vape. I need a vape. What can I have a vape of? I have a vape of this. Actually, I'm going to have. Uh, I got some of this juice from Vapist. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it's green. Um, and I've not even looked up the description yet. I have no idea what that. It just smells. I've been vaping it in the the, the vapor V3, uh, and it's crazy stuff. It's like a, a a toned down druid or a a fruitier type druid. Uh, I've never actually tried vapors. Have I tried vapors? It's just no. I don't think I have. There we go. Damn you, vaping donut! Can't taste anything. Uh, right. Emails and stuff like that. I need to say, Lee Wilson. How's it going? Uh, I said to Lee Wilson I would give him a shout out. Uh, so there we go. There's Lee. Uh, that's that done. I've got. Um, who's go? All right, we've done all that. Uh, right, the charity raffle that's going on. Please, 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 uh, you know, the charity raffle is open worldwide. Uh, I'm getting a lot of donations from across the world, but, uh, you know, it is worldwide. We are now standing at £2,285. That's awesome. Uh, and this is all going to Second Chance Kennels, um, not far from me, uh, who take on abandoned dogs and rehome them. Uh, please do not get in touch with Second Chance Kennels. They actually didn't even know this was going on until they started getting emails from people asking them what the prizes were. Um, you know, they are the recipients of the money. They have nothing to do with the raffle. If you want to know about the raffle, get in touch with moi and uh, I'll take it from there. Uh, so that's all that covered. Um, oh, Delaney Mods are sending me something on. The, is it the... The M-Y-U-R-A. There you go. I now expect at least 300 emails from people telling me how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, the Ignis review will be coming. I'm still vaping it here. It's just... Excuse me. Um, I'm just still waiting on a little bit of help from foot on uh, on that one. Uh, there will be a review coming for the Breathe from Nature Vape. Uh, that'll be coming along as well. Um, I'm really getting the hang of the oscilloscope. I never thought I was going to get the hang of it. I'm actually learning how to use it, which is quite impressive for a Thickle like me. Um, what else? Big shout out to Billy at Vaping King. Billy's got a new site up. Very colourful. Um, so if you're looking for some monkey jizz, go along and see Billy at Vaping King. Can't believe I just said that. I hate banana as well. Uh, right, I'm, I'm dithering here now. I'm. I'm I've been rushing through this because I'm so cold and I just want to get back in the house. Uh, oh, I sound like I'm from Fife. I want to get back in the house. Oh, who's the... Some charmer, uh, nice chap. Uh, 
done a YouTube piss take of me. Bastard that he is. Um, <laughs> it was just a rehearsal one he was doing. I, I don't know where it is. He'll probably be releasing it in time, but uh, it's it was actually quite good. I didn't actually realise before that um, watching these videos... Okay, I pause a lot. I get that. I get that. I can live with that. But the vaping thing... I didn't realise I did that. But he's really exaggerated it and just basically taking the piss out of me. Which is cool. I'm all for that. Uh, the more banter, the better. Um, I enjoyed my caramel Easter egg. The rubbish is still sitting here. Um, um, what can I show you? What have I got that you, you don't know about? Um, do you know, working in a vape shop just gets better every week. And for all those that are asking... Dunfermline should be open on Tuesday. Uh, it should be open Tuesday. Um, what else? Listen, guys, that's about it. Um, anything else would be a lie or made up after this point because I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, what? What? Uh, oh, yeah, somebody said... I have legs. Just in case you were curious, I do have legs. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, and here's something I want to mention. Uh, just mm, through work, seeing people come into a vape shop and whatnot. If you're getting into vaping, Please, please, please. It's all these guys that are putting out these rebuilds for sub ohms and all the rest of it and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, great. Please remember, you need to, you really, really, really need to investigate the whole, the impact that running low resistances will have on your batteries. And that goes for ego twists and ego batteries. Rebuilding, um, you know, Kangers and Evods and things like that, but you're rebuilding them with like 0.8 or 0.9 resistance and running it on a 350 milliamp hour Ego. Not good. Bad. Um, go and <clears throat> look at the videos. There's lots of videos out there. I think I might even done some. Uh, even have done some. Um, educate yourself before you start fanning about with low resistance builds. Um, terrifying. Absolutely terrifies me the thought of somebody, you know, not having anything to measure the resistance or anything like that. They're just guessing on the coils and then they're popping it on a, a, a ego twist or something like that. Just crazy. Uh, and that's me. I've managed to string this out to about 19 minutes now. So uh, on that note, I'm going to bugger off. Uh, I will be reviewing like a crazy review man uh, tomorrow. And I will hopefully be able to get out two or three videos to carry me during the week until the following week. Uh, what have I forgotten? I've, I get to this point all the time. I've forgotten something. Causes for effect. Yes. Uh, nothing else to say. Uh, you guys have a lovely weekend. Uh, may the weather be better with you than it is here right now in Bonnie, Scotland. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend. And uh, we'll no doubt catch up with you next week. Aichiva. I should really tell you what that means. Anyway, ah, well. Bye.